Happy Hump Day to all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, the Super Chat heroes for March 2024, and all of the members. Today is a special day for the channel as we celebrate the channel 10 years later. Brian, what's up, Brian? How's it going? Happy 10 years to your YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Brian. I appreciate that as well as the like. So a little fun fact, I technically had the channel established in January of 2014, but I didn't post my very first video on this channel until today, 10 years ago, my bowling broke video. But yeah, so I consider today to be the 10 year anniversary of the channel. What's weird is, I don't know why I thought it was supposed to be tomorrow, but fortunately I looked it up, I double checked this morning. And yeah, it turns out it was today, not tomorrow, that marks the 10 year anniversary. So a little short notice, but it's fine. It's not really gonna be a long stream, just a chill stream, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna chill. We're gonna probably play a little bit of GTA Online. Maybe I'll get the uh, S2 Cabrero for Janine and uh, take care of that on the Xbox uh, Series X. So I do appreciate everyone over the past decade, even if you just became a subscriber to the channel 10 minutes ago, or you've been around for nearly 10 years, it means a great deal to me, all my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans and friends over the past decade. Hard to believe it's been a year. And uh, memes, uh, thank you memes, happy 10 years. Yeah, it's crazy, like 10 years ago, when I finally started to you know, stop emailing my ideas to Rockstar and just start making videos based off my ideas and other content I would end up uh, making, I did not imagine that I'd be doing it for the next 10 years. I just thought it'd be fun to do, you know, because I have the other channel, the other channel, my political channel, and obviously I get burnt out with it a lot because, yeah, <laughs> politics, right? So I wanted something fun to do, and I was already playing GTA Online, and before that, you know, I've been a GTA fan since I was a teenager. And so I thought, you know what? I can make GTA content. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I made some friends, I met my fiance, and uh, it's been quite the ride over the past 10 years. So I guess today we'll reflect, we'll drive around GTA, and do the McTony robbery on Xbox. The reason why we're on Xbox is because that's where it started, back on my Xbox 360, and that's where the screenshot for the wall comes from. The very first image you see in my very first video on this channel, my ball and broke video, and it was the, the one idea that I got uh, the inspiration to make a video of instead of simply just email it to Rockstar because Rockstar used to have an email that you could just email your ideas to them. And I have no idea if they ever read any of my email ideas or implemented any of them. Long story short, I got tired of simply emailing them. And I thought, you know what? At the very least, I could just make them videos. And even if Rockstar doesn't like come across those videos, maybe some people will watch them and like the idea or dislike the idea. And we'll take it from there. So yeah, long journey over the past decade. And I don't know if we're going to be doing this uh, 10 years from now. I mean, I hope that we're all around in another 10 years with the way the world's going. But it would be funny if we did a 20 years later stream in uh, 2034. I'd be a lot older by then. I'll probably have gray hair. Hopefully I'll be in shape by then. I would like to finally lose some pounds. So who knows what the future holds for all of us. But I'm grateful for the moment and for the journey thus far with all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes, not just from March 2024 with their OG GB logo, Super Chat icon, but also all the Super Chat heroes over the past several years, and all of our members over the past several years, at least, what, four plus year now, we've had the membership program, and I'm grateful to all my members. Whether you're a member for one month or you've been a member for four years, like uh, UG and Belfast, Aslan, ACG, 
I think that uh, Tokyo Tents has also been a member. But, yeah, I do greatly appreciate everyone for your support. Even if you can't financially contribute, that's fine. Your support by watching the videos, subscribing to the channel, ringing ding in the bell, liking the videos you enjoy and the live streams you enjoy, and maybe even telling others about the channel and my content. That that helps in a big way. Yuji Alal. Hey, how's it going, Yuji? Hope you're doing well, my friend. And uh, speaking of the membership program, uh, you know, got some benefits to the members. Click the join button for more information. Badges, emojis, shout outs at the beginning of live streams. The elite and deluxe members get included on the wall throughout most of the month. At the end of the month, we'll add the junior members and the gifted members. All members get early access to one video a week. All members get included below in the description section of live streams. The elite, deluxe, and junior members get included in the beginning and ending of videos. And members get a unique role in Discord. You also get featured in the About section of the uh, channel, where you can also find the live stream schedule as well as links to the vlogs channel. Riley and I have a vlogs channel where we do a monthly vlog. It's linked over there in the About section, along with our amazing Discord community. Without further ado, let's do some shout outs, shall we? The elite members Yuji Outlaw, who's in the chat, Belfast Gamer, Latino Bunny, Fat Chinese Gaming, Angry Veteran Forge, Deluxe Members, Azulin, ACG, Red the 8 Bit Dinosaur, Dark Matter Wolf, Junior Members, Tokyo Tent, Hutch Plays, Brett, Kane, Icarus, Fernando Martinez, Tyler98735, Tommy Angelo Jr., Sinistar, Eric Bell, Fluffy Wolf, and the Gifted Members, Mr. Grumpy Wombat, Lewis, Sinister RC, John Law, and Snake. Gifted Members, Judy Members, Deluxe Members, Elite Members, and March 2024 Super Chat Heroes going above and beyond for the GB Nation as we celebrate 10 years later. <laughs> Noob, thank you. Happy 10 years, brother. Thank you very much, Noob. All right, so this is going to be just a chill stream. We're just going to go on for maybe two hours at the most. Maybe a little shorter. I just felt like celebrating the 10-year anniversary of the channel. Maybe reminiscing, chatting. If anyone else wants to join me in voice chat and Discord, we can just talk if you want. If not, I can talk. I'm pretty good at talking sometimes whenever it doesn't sound like gibberish or random nonsense. But how's everybody doing this week? I hope you're all having a great week so far. And uh, yeah, thanks to everybody that's watched the past couple videos. Like, geez, I wasn't expecting two videos back to back to blow up my hot take on the uh, Rockstar employees. That video blew up. And then yesterday's title update for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online blew up. I guess it's a nice uh, 10 year anniversary gift. So I appreciate it. But, yeah, I mean, regarding, you know, the Rockstar employees, look, I do have sympathy for the Rockstar employees, just like I do for anybody in the workforce. You know, but at the same time, if your boss tells you have to work, you have to work, you know, that's just the way it is. And hopefully those employees that have disabilities and have health issues, there'll be considerations made for them. And, you know, distance-wise, you know, employees that are far away from the nearest office when it comes to Rockstar Studios, which is by basically around the world. Yeah, we're getting out of this public lobby. Screw this. But hopefully Rockstar is accommodating to their employees. But yeah, so I, I do read your comments. Even when you disagree with me, you have a right to disagree with me. That's totally fine. That's the way I've always been on this channel. People don't have to agree with me 100% because at the end of the day, all my ideas are my ideas. All my thoughts are my thoughts. My rants are my rants. My opinions are my opinions. I don't claim to be all-knowing. I don't claim to be right all the time. I just do it. Do what I do. You heard some of the employees live eight hours away from office. Yeah, so that's going to be difficult for them. Like I said, I hope that Rockstar, Rockstar has to be aware of the fact that some of their employees don't exactly live by the nearest Rockstar studio. And so hopefully they, they do take into account those employees and that should have been something i included would i i failed to include that part i did talk about employees with disabilities health issues and employees that you know are not exactly 
doing the really, really top secret stuff. The stuff that could be leaked. Because, you know, there, you got employees at all levels working on GTA 6. And probably a lot of them working on just GTA... Well, not a lot of them, but some of them working on GTA Online. They probably can just stay home. Because who's going to leak GTA Online content? Alright, so let me grab a vehicle. And we're going to grab the Terminus. Because 10 years ago, I used the uh, what I call the Meriwether Mesa. So it's only fitting that we drive the successor to the Meriwether Mesa in the uh, Terminus. And this is a really amazing off-road vehicle. I feel like it's been overshadowed by the Gauntlet Interceptor. I do like the Gauntlet Interceptor. It's extremely expensive. And it does have a lot of customization to it. But the Terminus is also a really awesome little Jeep. And it has a lot of customization to it as well. And it's great on-road and off-road. So I've been really enjoying this vehicle on both my PlayStation and Xbox accounts. So I just thought it was fitting since the Canis uh, Meriwether Mesa was the first vehicle you saw Janine drive around in 10 years ago in my Ball and Broke video. That 10 years later, you know, she'd be in the uh, successor to the Meriwether Mesa. Yeah, I don't. I think most of us do not want the game to be leaked any further. We want to be surprised when the game comes out. So I understand Rockstar having, you know, security concerns, and that's why I, I think it it makes sense for them to want to try to get their employees back in the office for the final stretch of development for GTA 6. But I'm, I'm sure they're going to make accommodations with their employees. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, if your boss tells you you have to show up to work, well, guess what? You have to show up. I mean, it's just the, that's just the way it is. So Yuji says, not bad. Look at the PC. Oh, uh, okay. So it's just the CPU that was an issue? Okay, Yuji. Well, hopefully that's an easy fix. Then you can get your uh, gaming PC back up and running in no time. Maybe even better than ever, you know? So far, I've been pretty lucky with both my, my gaming PC and my, my OG PC. Like, I've had my OG PC forever. It's the one that I used to do video editing on. But I st I'll still do, vo like, uh, Photoshopping with it. Because I have, like, an older, like, Photoshop software for, uh, like, graphics and for my thumbnails. I refuse to buy the new Photoshop. So basically, that's what I keep my, my old PC around for. It's not connected to the internet. I just use thumb drives to like grab uh, files off of it, like uh, PNGs after I make a thumbnail. Like like this morning's thumbnail, I just, I'd screenshot it over here on, on my gaming PC, and then I put it on a thumb drive, and I plug it into my other PC, into the Photoshop, and then I make the thumbnail, and I just... Go back and forth. A uh, meme says, I had that problem in my job where an employer didn't show up. Okay. Well, employees, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You can be accommodating to your employees, but at the same time, your employees, at the end of the day, have a job to do. You have to show up for the job, and you have to work. And that's that's just the way it is. You know, if, if you don't show up to work, then... Guess what? Your boss is going to fire you and, and hire somebody else that will show up for work. That's the way it's always been. Uh, Tay, what's up, Tay? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. All right. So I guess we'll just uh, do a McTony mission and get uh, the uh, what the S2 Cabrillo for Janine. It'll be my 10-year uh, anniversary gift to her since she was my original GT Online character all the way back to the 360. It's only fitting. All right, so we're going to go after this. Even though the McTony mission is not exactly my favorite mission, we were able to pull it off on uh, PlayStation, but that was with a squad. I'm, I'm doing it solo at the moment, but that's fine. Okay. So I have a little experience playing this game. I'm sure some... Oh, I got to do the scope out. Okay, so that's going to make it even more challenging because I think once you do the scope out one time, you don't have to do it again. So I got to do it. I have to do it. He's always showing Which up is fine. And the and the girls and but yeah, I do appreciate y'all being here. 
I know it was kind of a short notice. The plan was actually to stream tomorrow, but then I realized that, wait a minute, my Balling Broke video came out today, not tomorrow. You fool. It's going to be around 200 euro? Okay. Well, like, once you get it installed and up and running, then, then you'll be good to go. Very nice, UG. But like I said, it's on a As I sit here and wait for Jamal to uh, finish talking, because I can't just go on with the freaking mission. Can I start the mission now, game? Thank you. Very cool. All right. So let's go scope out the submarine. I never bothered doing this when it first came out, like during the what the holiday season when we had okay. snow. I'm glad I didn't, because it was a nightmare to do it on uh, PlayStation. So I'm glad there's no snow this time around. All right. I mean, I don't know why I'm using driving the Terminus. I could just fly over there in the Sparrow. Let's just do that. All right. Grab the Sparrow. You better not hit my Sparrow, jerk. All right. So what's everybody up to this week? Anything interesting, fun going on? Oh, by the way, yesterday Riley officially started flight school. She'll only be going down there maybe like once or twice a week for now. And she, no, she didn't fly or anything. She's just, it just starts off in like class. You know, you're learning the basics, the ropes, if you will. But hopefully she'll be up in a plane sooner or later with the instructor. But she's very excited about it. She, she felt kind of overwhelmed with all the information. But, I mean, that's to be expected. So I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of that. Okay, I wonder if I can just take the photos from up here. We'll try it from up here. Maybe we can get up here and not have to deal with any conflict. Alright, so let's chill right here. She must be happy about it. She is happy about it. Hey, what's up, Dark Matter Wolf? How's it going? Yeah, work later in taxes. Yeah, taxes are coming up. I think I got everything lined up with my uh, accountant when it comes to my taxes. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'm good to go in that department. Uh, all right. Let's go about the submarine. Okay. Delete. Okay. Okay, what are we focusing on? I'm too far away. Oh, come on. I don't want to be too far away. I want to be... Oh, this is this is close enough. Why can't I just take the photo right there? <laughs> come on, Rockstar. I mean, I realize this is a 2013 phone that we're using still. You know, 2013 camera. But... Like, I would very much prefer uh, taking the photo from as far away as possible. But, whatever. Alright. I'll just land over here. Oh, I gotta get some body armor on. Alright. See, I got something with suppressor. Okay. Okay, my AP pistol has a suppressor on it. You're attempting to platinum. Uh, yeah, me and platinum aren't really a thing. I like the metal platinum, but platinum in video games? Uh, forget about it. Not happening. Okay. He's down. I think he had a friend right there. Though. All right. All right. Any other friends? Let's get to the boat. I'm hoping that the guys across the way didn't notice that. A little lead poisoning accident. You know, these things happen when you're down in the port. It's quite dangerous down here. All sorts of things are being shipped into this port from all across the world. All right. All right how close do I have to be to take this silly photo? Is that close enough? He didn't want to ride do that. I pushed the wrong button. Okay. Alright. 
Zoom in. All right, is that close enough? All right. So we got that one. Photograph landing pad exit. So I guess I gotta go over here and get these. Hopefully without Meriwether blowing me away. No, Bo, Bo, get, get back over there. Thank you. Alright, let's try this. Zooming in. Freaking waves. Nope, that was a whole lot of nothing. Uh, freaking ocean, I swear. Anything? A whole lot of nothing. Okay. Uh, Dark Matter Wolf, thank you. Thank you, Dark Matter Wolf. Yes, 10th anniversary of the channel. I cannot talk today. But yeah, 10th anniversary today, 10 years ago, I put out my very first video on this channel. And I got too close to Meriwether. That's that sucks. I did not want to do that. Frack. Uh, I'm trying to get a photo. All right, maybe I can get a photo. Yeah, you guys just. Uh, I'm just sightseeing, guys. Honest. Zoom in. Uh, too far away. Uh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, fuck you. No, don't, Janine, don't go in the water. Of course you'd go in the water. Uh, I wanted you to stay on the boat. Okay. Grab that guy. Is there a Maybe I can get the photo here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, stop doing that. Okay. So is it the container I need a photo of? I guess. Nope. It's not the container. Yeah. This is a great mission. Uh, Bounty Hunter, uh, hide you to... What? Hide you being everyone else... Totally not using your stream as a workout. What? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Say something. Bolo. Pop. <laughs> I'm using the rising tide to to get my shot. Yeah. What? I fell. Okay. There. Up. Yeah, I'll just kill them. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Just pop your head out. Thank you. Alright, let's get this photo. I gotta get right beside it first. Alright, photo time. Let's take a photo. Send that to Jamal. Oh, and there's that. Okay, let's send that to Jamal. And we'll send this to Jamal. Take a photo, it'll last longer. Hey, what's up, Fat? How's it going? Well, Fat's a special occasion. It's the 10 year anniversary of my channel. So that's why we're streaming today. But you're right, I don't always stream on Wednesday, but special occasions, you know. Alright, so good news, we got all the photos taken. Now we can leave. Alright, come on Janine, get back in the boat. All right. Oh, by the way, coming up later, I'm going to finally have another episode of uh, Dark Forces Remaster out. 
I know it's been a quick minute since I put out an episode, but other stuff kept coming up. So there will be another episode coming out later today. And then uh, even uh, another episode, two episodes this week. So we got episode, I think, uh, 11 coming out later today. And then episode 12 on Friday. So two episodes of Dark Forces Remaster. Boat! I need to climb up there, Boat. Stop that. All right. Let's go. And uh, thank you, Tay. All right. So we got that done. Heading back to the salvage yard. Yeah, it's just a chill stream today. Just celebrating 10 years. Having lunch today. Sweet tooth cheesecake. Nice. Very nice. I do like cheesecake. Alright, so we made short work of the Meriwether Mercs. Now we head back to the salvage yard. And we continue with our plans. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kane was telling me this rumor that there was a person that predicted the GTA 6 trailer would come out a day early. I don't even know how accurate that prediction is. But the same guy allegedly has predicted that GTA 6 will come out in February 2025. Well, I press X to doubt on that. I don't think it's coming out in February 2025. If we're lucky, maybe summer. 2025 and most likely holiday season 2025 but I don't expect GTA 6 to come out in February 2025 well if it does I'm not complaining I just don't think it'll happen Let's see uh, bounty hunter says question why'd you stop naming the Dark Forces playthrough because it I didn't want to do it anyways Riley it was Riley's suggestion to give it a like a name like a little extra subtitle name I just didn't feel like it worked. So I decided that I would just call it Mission 1, Mission 2. That way, anyone watching would know what mission it was. But, yeah, I didn't think it was working. So that's why I, I did that. Uh, Sedan, what's up, Sedan? Uh, hey, 10 years. Congrats, GB. Can't stick around between work projects. But I do I do appreciate you stopping by, Sedan. Thank you so much for the uh, happy birthday wishes on the channel. And uh, Fat, Fat with a 10-pound super chat. Thank you very, very much, Fat. Happy 10-year anniversary to your channel. Hope you're doing well today. Bear's doing well. Can't believe it's almost four months into 2024. I know. Isn't that crazy? Like, March is going to be gone in just a few weeks. It's almost April. But, yeah, thanks again for the super chats. Always greatly appreciated, Fat. I will get you a retro GB logo for the uh, super chat icon on the uh, channel and windows and doors is here what's up windows all right english dave piss off no one cares about you okay. anyways you that was there? that was pretty Getting mean is gonna be tough. We need to find i'm sure somebody cares about him and some disguises too like what those maybe his parents with all the fancy shit they got jamming sonar plus those emergency doors Ugh, we got a lot to do, baby. Let's you imagine go. sitting in that cell and Coyote Rico right beside the panther, and the only thing he can do is just call me and annoy me. Leave me alone, English Dave. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going back to Legion Island. We got a submarine to steal this time. And uh, thank you, Bounty. Thank you on the uh, congrats on the past 10 years. English Dave won't stop calling, I remember. Yeah, it is annoying. I swear English Dave called you after every Cluck and Bell mission. You did, UG? Yeah, I remember like Snake getting salty about that. He got really salty about English Dave continuing to call him. <laughs> it was hilarious. Alright, let's go to Elysian Island. This is the one that's it's kind of annoying at first, but it's not too difficult once you get past the MP, you know, the uh, enemies. The NPCs, as I was going to say. You just gotta have a little high ground action and just blast them from a safe distance. So they can't aimbot me so easily. Ah. Shit. 
jet. They are not happy. This is the way to do it. Just fucking fly over an attack helicopter and just kill them. One down there. Uh, almost free aimed him. Uh, maybe I get a lock on him this time. I right. think we got them all. Alright, cool. They're all dead. Oh, was it Brucey? I don't remember. It was, uh, they're both annoying. Brucey and English Dave. Equally annoying. No, no, Brucey, uh, you're you're thinking about the BST when he, when you first uh, start playing the game. Brucey will call you to tell you about the BST, the Bull Shark Testosterone. What they're referring to is the casino missions when they when they bring back Brucey. All right, so we got the boat, the sub. Let's go grab the sub. I'm not going to be as cool as Kane and you know dive down there. I'm just going to safely uh, climb back. Get Janine, get get back on the ladder. All right. I like the fact that all this can be done. In the same lobby. I, I really wish that the Cluck and Bell farm raid was done in a similar fashion. That way you were, weren't constantly having to be separated from your crew. Into uh, different lobbies and having to regroup and start again. Uh, they're all pretty annoying. Like English Dave and Brucey are very freaking annoying. I wish we could just block them. I wish there was an option on our phones just to block contacts we don't want to talk to. Alright, see you later, Bounty. Enjoy the rest of your school day. Hope it goes well. And thank you for stopping by. Alright. So we're just going nice and easy. I remember when I bought this when it came out. With, with the Kyle Perico update. And, yeah, talk about buyer's remorse. I really wish I wouldn't have bought this little submarine. <laughs> For one thing, I'd rather have the Torador, you know? And to make matters worse, this is one of those unsellable vehicles. So if you buy it, you have to keep it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's been a thing, Windows. That was a long time ago. The Armored Paragon R, yeah. Uh, Fat says, remember, LJT will not stop calling. Yeah. LJT is annoying as well. I don't even mess with my biker businesses, and he still annoys me about it. I'm like, dude, I don't care. Leave me alone. If, if you're so obsessed with them, go do them yourself. It's just like Susanta when she calls you about the, the auto shop. Like, girl, if you are really want it done, roll up your sleeves and, and go fix up some cars. We got better things to do. But yeah, these some of these characters are very freaking annoying, and the fact that they'll pester you, like if, like for example, if you have a if there's a property you haven't bought yet, or if you haven't done a heist yet, or doomsday heist, or whatever, or say you haven't done the yacht missions, right? You own a yacht, but you haven't done the yacht missions. Like this is true for Janine here on Xbox. I have yet to do the yacht missions. Uh, the captain will continue to call her almost every time I log in to GTA Online. He'll call her. And I'm like, dude, leave us alone. We don't want to do your stinking yacht missions. Go do them yourself, asshole. So this game can be very freaking annoying when it's trying to get you to buy properties or do things. Like, telling you one time is fine. But multiple times, it gets very freaking tiresome. Look at the map. Okay, so... Okay, we gotta go around this end, too. Okay. But, yeah, this game has definitely changed over the past decade. I mean, graphically, obviously, it looks way better on the Xbox Series X 
in PS5 than it did on the 360 and PS3. I even have some... I saved some B-roll from uh, the uh, 360 before they shut it down. And I'm going to try and hold on to that for as long as I can. You know, of what the game originally looked like. Oh, my God. I remember how amazing it was going from the, the 360 to the PS4 and Xbox One. And then going backwards to 360, it was like, oh, wow. And then if you, you know, for, for a time before they shut down the, the 360 PS3 servers, the, if you actually went way, way back, right, from current gen all the way back to, to the first gen of GT Online, you could just feel how painful it was to, to play the 360 PS3 games, well, versions of this game. Constantly being uh, advertised by properties. Yeah, it is annoying. It feels like kind of like a bullying tactic, you know? It's like Rockstar's like, hey, we'll stop calling you if you buy the property. Man, it's just crazy that we've been playing this game for over a decade now. And I launched this channel because of this game. <laughs> and I'm still making content and live streaming the same game. Now, obviously over the past 10 years I have, you know, focused on other stuff too besides GTA, like uh, the Mafia franchise, uh, the Red Dead franchise, and some other games here and there as well that I've let's played over the years, a lot of Star Wars. But what launched the channel was obviously GTA Online. Think of all the characters forget you well yeah I think that's the problem is a lot of the uh, characters we encounter uh, they don't treat you like you're the boss and I and that's one thing that really freaking annoys me they just they kind of boss you around like they'll say you're the boss but then they're the ones being bossy and you're the one having to do all the damn work oh you only started in Je in July 2022 wow you haven't been playing that long okay well some of us have been playing for like a freaking decade Janine, what are you doing, girl? Nope. Back that thing up into the checkpoint. It's right there. What? What is this? I get all the way over here. I'm having issues, some issues. You originally made your channel to post comments. Yeah, I know a lot of people do that. A lot of people just have a channel just so they can watch videos, subscribe to channels leave likes and post comments but I've always enjoyed making content even before this channel I, I made some silly uh, videos in the very early days of YouTube you know some you know typical silly shorts as you would expect that channel's long gone by the way I kinda wish I still had some of that content there's just some stupid short videos I made and, of course, the political channel, which I constantly get burnt out with because, you know, politics suck. But then there's this channel. Alright, let me uh, recall my... There. Alright, I like hanging out. No, see, I told y'all he was going to call me. All of you fuckers, stop calling me. Unless you're calling to wish the channel happy 10 years... Don't bother. <laughs> no, it's always because they want something, right? Typical. Alright. See, I get a text message. Freaking junk energy. You started your character in November 2020. Played a little bit. Didn't actually start. Okay. Well, that's kind of confusing. So, technically, you started in November 2020, though. So... So I guess we're just going to have to make our own opening here. There. There we go. I hope there's a lot more destruction, like destructive environments in GTA 6. I'm not expecting us to be able to knock down buildings or blow up bridges, but I hope that there's a bit more destructive abilities that we're going to have in GTA 6 compared to GTA 5 and online. Call back my car. 
Problem is, I don't know exactly where it's going to spawn right here. Oh, it's going to spawn right there. That's perfect. Sometimes the game actually will spawn something near you. Ten years ago, GB updated a video about the Ballinboro Penitentiary. I'd love to see. I I did a reaction to that video. I did. That was for a previous anniversary video. I actually did do a reaction to the Ballinboro. Maybe I'll maybe I'll find that and I'll post it for you, fat, or I'll just send it to you. But the Bro video, I did link it below in the description section if some of you are curious about my very first video. <laughs> some of you are going to be like, wow, GB, I I'm glad that you kept making videos after that. You know, some people would have just uh, not. <laughs> this channel, you and your community are awesome. Well, I agree. I agree. This is an amazing community that we have, and I do appreciate all of you being part of this uh, community. Whether you've been here, like I said, for 10 minutes or for nearly 10 years, it does mean a lot to me. Yuji says, I still need to do the McTony mission. Okay, well, today is the last day that you can do it to get the uh, claimable uh, Cabrero S2. So that's another reason why I'm doing it today i mean i didn't have anything else planned to do today for the 10 year anniversary stream because i kind of put it together at the last second but i thought you know what since i'm gonna be on the xbox anyways and we're just chilling i might as well be doing something in the background and i thought okay fine i'll just get janine uh the cabrero s2 with the Los ventures plates since i already got it for wolfstein on the ps5 hey what's up uh Latino Bunny, Fire, thank you for being an elite member for 35 months. <laughs> Bomba Clot, sup, blood? <laughs> well, Jeremy. See, you got distracted, something else, like job, family, something else. Yeah, well, you know, life happens. Uh, what up, Matt? How's it going, Matty? Uh, yeah, you, you, you better uh, get it done before, while you still can. If you want to get the, if you want to be able to claim the car with the lost insurance plates. The cool thing is, even if you don't have, what, the forgery shop, it's only $20,000 to claim the vehicle after you're done. I mean, I guess that's basically your payment is the car, but I'm fine with that. Works for me. All right, next mission. <sighs> so... Sonar equipment. Let's go get the sonar equipment. Then we got to do the disrupt. And then we got to do those little uh, free mode uh, missions. Uh, Amanda, what's up, Amanda? Uh, who do you think is the best GTA YouTuber in your opinion? Uh, no question. Mr. Boss of the Wind. He's so amazing with his bazillion GTA 6 videos. All of them conveniently being uh, not clickbait and uh, around uh, the 8 minute marker. Just over eight minutes? I'm lying, obviously. <laughs> that's that's a joke. For some of you, don't quote me. That was a joke. I was being funny. At least trying to be funny. Yeah, 20000 is not bad. I mean, I, honestly, I thought it was going to be like full price. But I, I'll take it, though. I mean, it, it's all the work you put into it, right? The, the blood, sweat, and tears of doing the McTony robbery. You're basically just getting paid the car along with a $20,000 fee. Someone's tired. Who's tired? Are you tired? Uh, Windows. Uh, Mr. GTA 5 Story Mode. Let's play from a few months ago. Uh, yeah, those were fun streams, but, um, you know, we did wrap that playthrough over, you know, the five years, I mean, the 10 years later playthrough for GTA 5, but we are doing the five years later playthrough for Red Dead Redemption 2, and, uh, we're going to be wrapping up Chapter 6 on Sunday. That's going to be very, very bittersweet. Of course you'll clip it out of context. What a surprise. Gotta love the sarcasm. My favorite GTA YouTuber. Let me think for a minute. Um, you know, that's a good question. I'm, I'm glad I'm in the Terminus, so when these assholes shoot at me, you know, the Terminus takes a little bit more dan damage than an average vehicle. Uh... Okay. You guys don't have to shoot at my terminus like that. I was just driving by. It's very rude. Right. 
All right, you know what? That's a good question. Who is y'all's favorite GTA YouTuber? There you go. I do like uh, a few people. I think uh, I have a few friends that I like. They're, they're GTA YouTubers, like uh, Gilly Master. He does a good job. He and I make some similar content sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Uh, another friend of mine, Pat, also known as The Professional. He does good videos. Uh, Putter, he's really fun to watch. He has some really funny... Uh, PvP videos that Riley and I enjoy. So Putter's cool. Uh, what, Nitrix Warlord? He does similar videos to Putter. Those are funny. And I'm trying to think. Who else? Fuck you. Okay, I'll catch up with chat in a second, guys. I appreciate y'all being here. I'm just trying to kill these assholes. I think I may kill them all. See, uh, GTA series videos. Yeah, they do really good videos, too. They have amazing guides over on GTA series. So I, I include them as well as a really good uh, GTA channel. Fuck you. Let's go in. Hey, what's up, Fern? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Fuck, they are fucking me up. I'm trying to see where they're hitting me from. You know what? Yes. Yeah, just burn you fuckers. There you go. Just embrace the fire. Alright, now now where did I put the extinguisher? Alright. Break open the case. So you don't want to play Red Dead Redemption? Well, that's fine. Alright, grab that. Okay, exit the warehouse. My stack set. Let me catch up with chat real quick. Don't really. Uh, oh, for f you motherfuckers! I'm trying to catch up with chat. You assholes. That was rude. Assholes. Did I not get the railgun for Janine? I guess not. What a shame. Oh. <sighs> Fuckers. I ah, gotta get out of here. Remind me to go to the ammunition when I'm done. Just run, Janine. <sighs> Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'll catch up with chat in just a minute. Just gotta get back in the terminus and get the hell out of here. Alright. Fuck. These guys are not happy about me breaking into their warehouse. I don't know why they're taking it so personal. But okay. Yeah, I think the terminus is a really good off-road vehicle. It's also not bad on road either. Yeah, they're they're a little upset. Holy crap! There's no need to fire rockets at me. Jeez, you're taking it too far, buddies. A little too personal, I think. It's just business. All right, let me catch it with chat. Uh, Fat says I had a favorite YouTuber. He was a friend, but then he went. Okay. I don't know what I call myself. You know, I don't know if I really... Do y'all think I'm a GTA YouTuber or am I a Rockstar YouTuber or am I just a YouTuber? I don't know. Am I just a content creator, streamer? Whatever. 
I'm not an influencer. Fuck that. I'm not that. No, thank you. Uh, Tay says, don't really uh, do gaming content like that anymore. I like commentary. But that's fine. That's totally fine. I mean, I, there's lots of different types of videos and streams I enjoy. So the thing I like about Salvage Arch Robbery is that they reuse the Casino High soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, the, the soundtrack for Casino Heist did slap. It was pretty good. Uh, Yuji says, my favorite GTA YouTuber is fill in the blank. Um, I have no idea. Uh, Latino says, uh, only commentary videos I watch are esoteric. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Windows says, I might have already asked you before, but do you have, have you ever played... L4D2. What is L4? Oh, Lost for Dead? No, I never played Lost for Dead. Never played it. Uh, con you like you like content creator? Yeah, content creator works. And Fern is obviously a sheep taco lover. That That is no surprise or shock to anyone, Fern. Yuji says that you're a content creator, streamer, and a friend. Yeah, see, I like that part. Friend. I like that. I was a Red Dead Online uh I don't really consider me that anymore. I don't know what I am. I'm just I'm just a person. I jokingly tell Riley that that I'm just a person. <laughs> She's like, "What are you?" I'm a person. <laughs> Poor Janine, she got shot up pretty bad. I think she might need a salt tablet. Okay, so before we do the disrupt mission, let's go do those additional uh, side missions. But I don't really consider myself to be a Red Dead Online content creator anymore because, unfortunately, Red Dead Online is all but dead. I'm, also, I'm not a wolf. I just The wolf happens to be my spirit animal. All right. So I do need to go to ammunition and get more body armor. No, actually, I think I still got the Christmas body armor, don't I? Hey, hey! I just got this ride! You're fucking rude! You can't just wait for me to, like, not park in the middle of the road? I sue you! <laughs> I have a dash cam. Which is the live stream. Yeah, I've heard about Left 4 Dead. I just, I'm not as into zombie games, so it's not really, really for me. GB has a face mask for radio and a voice for a newspaper. Well, thank you, Fire. I was in radio a long time ago. Alright. And I have written a few articles in newspapers back when people actually cared about newspapers. Not a lot, just like a handful back when I was a bit more political when I was younger. Mostly libertarian constitutional stuff. But those days have long passed for me. Okay, you know what? Since it is the 10 year anniversary of Windows, that is a good question. I mean, I know I've answered this before, but some of you may be curious. Why go Burns? Okay, well, obviously Burns is my last name. And uh, Go is kind of like a I guess uh, Louisiana slang for go, like G-O. It means the same thing. It's pronounced the same way, but it's spelled differently. And yes, people in Louisiana do spell go, G-O. But a lot of sports teams, like for example, the uh, New Orleans Saints football team, they like to say go Saints or go Tigers, you know, the LSU Tigers with G-E-A-U-X. And years prior, when I was a New York Mets fan, I know I was a New York Mets fan, it's kind of silly, I actually um, put, you know, I, I got one of the uh, bricks for City Field Park, and you could put something on it, and I randomly put uh, Go Mets on it, like G-E-A-U-X Mets with my name on it. I still have the duplicate, and uh, I guess they kind of stuck with me, and so one day I just, I don't know, randomly Go Burns just came up, and I liked it. And the rest is history. So that's that's why I'm uh, Go Burns. To most, I'm known as GB, which is a little bit easier to pronounce. And that's fine. So basically, that's why I'm called uh, Go Burns GB. 
So you text us, I'm a basic human being. I do my small exercises, eat, walk somewhat. Yeah, you're very based. That is pretty based, Jay. What's happening to my podcast? I don't know. I mean, I get busy doing other stuff, fat. I, I mean to, you know, do the GB cast, but, you know, other shit happens and I, I get distracted. It's, it's just the way it is. You know what? I'm going to grab the sparrow. We can make this happen faster. But maybe one day I'll, I'll get to where I'm able to focus on bringing back the GB cast. I just got to... I don't know. I just got to decide what I want to do with it. Yuji says, I'm just an Irish guy. Smart ass doesn't care for a lot of things. Yeah. GB is currently YouTube maxing. Okay. Yeah, I used to get that joke all the time when I was a kid, fat. Because, you know, the Simpsons have been around for a thousand years, even when I was a kid. And when people would find out my last name was Burns, you know... Of course, they, they would be like, oh, are you related to Mr. Burns in uh, The Simpsons? Where's Smithers at? <laughs> so, yeah, I've gotten those quite a few times over the years, the, the Mr. Burns references. <laughs> That's nothing new. <laughs> Fern says, I'm also based. I walk, I work, I game, I make make some love, and then you eat sheep tacos. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. So let's do this one first, and then... Oh, oh, oh ooh, that was close. Then we'll do the next one, then get the mask, and then we'll do the disrupt mission. Then the McTony. Excellent. <laughs> there y'all go. You're welcome. All right. We gotta get the cutting torch. I think the cutting torch is actually pretty easy to grab. All right. Th All right. So I think it's just simply just what going over here and grabbing the cutting torch, and then leaving. Like I think you can actually do this without getting into a fight. All right. So let's see if we can just do this without causing an issue. Our spot of bother. Right, there we go. There. That's right, your torch has been stolen, assholes. Hey, come back with our torch, man. We just got that. Why do you numbskulls keep stealing our torches? Every day we have to go buy a new torch, and every day somebody comes along and steals it. <laughs> and you have a helicopter. Can't you afford your own torch? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I can imagine them say that. Hey, what's up, Kane? Uh, married 10 years. Thank you very much, Kane. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. If you say so, Fern, if you say so. All right. Let's uh, land back at the salvage yard. I think the other one is in Chumash, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Come on, Janine. But yeah, I do appreciate y'all being here on the special 10-year anniversary stream. While we do the McTony robbery solo. I know, I'm potentially setting myself up for some torture at the end. Uh, do I prefer controllers? Uh, yes, I prefer using a controller to mouse and keyboard in, in GTA and Red Dead. I mean, that's why I play on console mostly, uh, Windows, is because even though I'm streaming through my gaming PC... I do prefer uh, a controller, whether it's a Xbox controller or a PlayStation. I like both controllers. I know some people pick one over the other. I actually like both the. I think they're two of the best con best controllers ever made. Uh, the a Xbox controller and the uh, PlayStation. All right, so we got a disrupt mission to do. I may need something a little faster than my Sparrow to get it done in the time allotted. But 
We'll see how it goes. I've got a... I think Janine has a few uh, jets at her disposal. Especially uh, the laser. I'll call in the laser! I could have swore I got her the freaking railgun. I must have. I must not got her a railgun whenever I had the chance some time ago. Oh well, it's not the only one. The railgun has proven to be very, very handy. Okay, it's not perfect. Time to go a little up close and personal. These fuckers. Once more into the breach. Fuck you. Hello. Goodbye. Right, do we have any other friends in here? <laughs> I'm just paranoid. It's like, no. Okay. I gotta destroy it. Okay. Well, you know what? Fuck it, I'll just do this. There. Alright, let's destroy it. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't I have to do something else? Uh, locate the... Okay, I had to find a laptop. Okay. Well, I think the laptop's inside the apartment, right? I think so. I think it's in here. Okay, it's not there. Okay, I'm silly. All right. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, where'd you put your laptop at? Oh, it's right there. Okay, there we go. Found it. Long day of work. That sucks. Well, good thing you're home, Kane. It's always good to be home after a long day. Stop stealing our torch. We get it from Walmart. Yeah, whole six bucks, right? All right, so I need something, like I said, a little faster and probably a little bit more firepower. Nice. Okay. So, let's call in. Oh, God. My laser. Well, Janine's laser. Right, where's it going to spawn? Okay, I think it's, okay, it's behind us. All right, come on, Sparrow. You can make it to the laser. Just a little further and you can rest. <laughs> it's smoking. Right, hopefully I have enough room to take off over here. That should be fine. Alright, there's the laser. Alright. Yep, definitely need some speed and firepower for this one. Alright. Well done, Sparrow. Well done. Okay. There. Take it back to the submarine. Alright, let's rock and roll. Take out the first target. Because the laser's faster, fat, you wouldn't understand that because you and Snake are slow as fuck. You don't understand the concept of going fast, especially when you're under a time limit. I got five minutes and thirty seconds to do this, so I have to. I'm on the freaking clock. Damn it! No, no, no! Get the engine back. <laughs> this one's being tricky. I'm rusty as hell. I haven't been in a laser in a moment or two. But it'll come back to you eventually. For fuck's sake, I missed again. Come on. Maybe I would have been better off taking the buzzer. Kidding me? Come on. We got time here. Alright, this is 
bearers. The train stopped. Hit him, but didn't do enough. Come on, you troll. Come on! Fat, you fucking jinxed me. This is your fault. What is happening? Right. Yes, I'm about to use the sparrow. Ah, son of a bitch. Kind of screwed myself, didn't I? I kind of screwed myself. So freaking rusty, I swear. I haven't flown a freaking laser in a quick minute. That should be no excuse. It's just awful. Alright. <sighs> Bloody hell. Christ, he's standing. I may have to close the app on this and restart this mission so I can actually do it. Right, they're gone, they're gone, okay. Yeah, it was your fault, I'm jinxing you. You jinxed me, so you're jinxed. Anyways, I need to focus on this. So I'll catch up with chat in a moment. Uh, annoying. off. I would have if I wouldn't have had such bad luck a moment ago. Of course, the the rockets on the laser are kind of trash. I should have just used the explosive ammo instead. But that's on me, though. That's on me. I still, I still might be able to pull this off. Alright. Still can pull it off. You know what's the irony is? They were all in Los Santos. So, I probably could have done this. I mean, the Sparrow was badly damaged, though, before I despawned it. But I guess the smartest thing I did was send it back to the submarine. Okay, so despite what happened in the laser... We still managed to pull this one off. So, uh, Fat, you're off the hook this time. <laughs> What's the worst GTA Online DLC? Uh, there's, there's been a few stinkers along the way. Yeah, I wasn't really the biggest fan of Drug Wars. I mean, that one just felt like it was just a bunch of copy pasta and just slapped together and... Their original vision probably involved Trevor, but Steve Ogg refused to come back. Or went, would come back, but not for the, the money they were offering. But yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of Drug Wars. Uh, Arena Wars, I appreciate that they were trying to do something different with Arena War. But it just didn't really work out. 
And even whenever there's a lot of people playing it, some of the modes just weren't. There, there's a couple that are okay, but there definitely aren't modes in Arena War that weren't even fun with a lot of people playing it. But like I said, I can appreciate that Rockstar was trying to do something different with Arena War. Like, what do y'all think is the worst uh, GT Online DLC so far? I would say when it comes to the worst GTA content, that would be the Orb Cannon. That's by far the worst thing that they've added to this game. It should have only been in Act 3, in Act 3 alone, but unfortunately they didn't ask me. I'm gonna go grab some security outfits. Kyle, right. you don't like Kyle Perico, Tay? Okay. Yeah, Kyle Perico is like a love hate thing for people. Some people like Kyle Perico, some people don't. Yeah, well, I've never been a Soul Wax fan because of the uh, first day of the game when we were stuck in the, the uh, racing tutorial and. It took forever to uh, actually play the game, and in the background, Soul Wax would be playing nonstop. So I, I grew to despise Soul Wax because of that. I know it's just a coincidence, but that music's not really my kind of music, anyways. The the tunes on Soul Wax, but I just still have memories back on launch 2013 of sitting there in the lobby, waiting 10, 20, 30 plus minutes giving up, starting over, and ending up with the same result a few times before I finally just gave up. Ah, the early days of GTA Online. I wonder what the early days of GTA 6 Online will be like. Uh, Brian says Drug Wars. Fat also says Drug Wars. Okay. Well. No, my, my sparrow's smoking again. Damn it. Stop smoking, that's bad for you. When they added Doomsday Update to GT Online, it went down the old... The broomstick... I think the broomstick was nightlife. It was a it was a dripped nightlife uh, update. Or or is it af after hours? Not nightlife. After hours. So yeah, the broomstick, it's annoying. I mean, I, I think that they could make some tweaks to it to make it less annoying. But, you know, people want to use it, you know, some people actually use it for their grinding. Some people use it for uh, PvP and griefing. But if I, if I can only re remove one from the game, it would be the Orb Cannon, hands down. Uh, I guess my favorite DLC is still the, hi the original Heist update from 2015, because even though they did add some smaller updates in 2014, which I am covering in my 10 years later, uh, like series, like I did uh, the Valentine's Massacre 10 years later video, and then recently I did the business update 10 years video. I feel like the game was never, it never felt whole, it never felt complete until they added the uh, heist update. Once they added the heist update, for the first time, GT Online actually felt like something was was there that was previously missing. But, I mean, there's been some pretty amazing updates. There's been a lot of, like, average mid-updates, and then there's been some disappointments, but that's to be expected over the past decade. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to put you back in the terabyte to get repaired. Yep. See, uh, your your pick will be Doomsday. Don't mind the missions, but the content added, including. Yeah, I mean, I do like the Deluxo. They added the Deluxo from Doomsday, and I would have been happy with the Deluxo if it would have just been a regular car, or if it just had hover conversion with no weapons, because both Riley and I are Back to the Future fans. But. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of of the uh, orb cannon, obviously. 
All right, so we have one more thing to get, and that is the mask. I mean, the mask isn't really necessary, but I guess we'll go get it. And it is. I can't start about that. You know what? Let's just go get the mask. Just to, I guess, say that we got the mask, even though I don't... Sometimes I'd forget to put the mask on. I'm just glad we did the disrupt weapons, which will make it a little bit easier. Contract's pretty good. Dr. Dre contract agent. Yeah, it's so weird that they, they built the, the contract and the contract missions, yet... Despite Franklin mentioning how there'll be other contracts, other clients besides Dr. Dre, they have yet to, like, introduce any other contracts. And I thought that's what they were going to do, is they were going to have more of that, you know, like, contract the contract 2, contract 3, you know, sequels to the, the contract update. Maybe they still will, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like it. I think I can uh, call in a buzzer. Now, the old Warhorse of GTA Online. Warhorse, Workhorse, same thing. Uh, Angry Veteran Forge. What's up, Angry Veteran Forge? Hope you're doing good today, along with everybody else. We are celebrating 10 years of the channel. It's just a chill stream today. I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And uh, coming up after the stream, I will have another episode of Dark Forces Remaster out. And then another episode on Friday. So yeah, two episodes of Dark Forces Remaster coming out this week. Uh, it still might happen. A, a Michael update is still a very real possibility. Especially since Ned Luke has very good relations with Rockstar still. And the fact that he's the only uh, GTA 5 protagonist that we have yet to have included. We've had Trevor since... The early days of the of uh, GTA Online with the uh, contact missions and with uh, Series A funding when they added Heist in 2015, we got Franklin with the contract. So the last of the the Trinity is Michael. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if we eventually get a Michael update, and that could be the sequel to the contract. You know. Uh, I'm on uh, Xbox. That's where we started a decade ago on the Xbox 360. And it was only fitting to do today's uh, stream on the Xbox. I don't mask. Eh, I don't care. I just grab a mask. Grab a mask. Later, Any mask. Well, yeah, I don't do PC. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to be on PC anymore. I'll PCing you, because I don't want this, the nonsense that happens in GT Online or Red Dead Online on PC. You know, that's peer-to-peer -peer issues right there. That's why I avoid playing on PC. No thanks, Rockstar. Maybe if they, in the future, with GTA 6 Online, maybe that'll be on dedicated servers, which will be a lot more secure, stable, and safer. And if not, oh uh, well. Alright, so we got everything that we need. See, Maddie says, you wish the nightclub would give us some different DJs? Yeah, I don't think they're ever going to re-add uh, new DJs to the nightclub. I think they, they got a batch of DJs and that was it. Well, of course, UG Ned Luke wasn't going to give you an answer. He's probably under an NDA. Like, my opinion is, if there is a Michael update, Ned Luke probably already did the voice work for it. And at the moment, you know, he's being quiet about it for legal reasons. So he's not going to say anything. He'll, he'll say it afterwards, after the hypothetical Michael update comes out, whenever. Maybe it's uh, this December. Maybe not. Or maybe it'll be right before GTA 6 comes out. But if there's a Michael update, he's not going to say a damn thing until the update actually is live and comes out. Then he'll talk about it. And Sinister, thank you very much, Sinister, for the $5 holo. Hope you're doing well today, Sinister. All right, I think we got everything good to go. Now we can go get Salty in the submarine. 
Doesn't that sound fun? I mean, because, you know, salt water and all. All right. So I scratched almost everything out except for the robbery itself. Boom. Let's do it. All this just to get a car with some loss insurance plates on it. Fortunately, it's a nice car. That's the bonus. Like, the S2 Cabrillo is a very, very nice car. If it was a shit car, I, I think would be less motivated to go after the Comet S2 Cabrillo. All right, let's go, Janine. But, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do on Saturday. We'll, we'll do a Saturday stream, probably GTA. I don't know what we're going to do Saturday. It'll be on PlayStation. And then on Sunday, we'll be wrapping up Chapter 6 in Red Dead Redemption 2, five years later. Saturday, Sunday streams, 12 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. UK. And then tomorrow, I'll probably do an Event Week video for GTA Online. And uh, like I said, there's a, at least, two, well, there, there will be two uh, Dark Forces remaster episodes. One coming out later today, after today's stream. And then the other one will come out on Friday. You're getting over the flu? Damn, dude. The flu sucks. Yeah, I hope you uh, get over it soon. The, the sooner the better, Sinister. That is no freaking joke, getting the flu. I really don't know which one was worse. You know, I got the flu a long time ago, and I was really, really sick for weeks. And I've also had COVID. They both suck. They both are terrible. If I never, ever get the COVID or get the flu again, it'll be too soon. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, meanwhile, lovely flight to Polito Cove. On this nice day in GTA Online. Ten years later. You know, when I uploaded that first video, Ball and Broke, I, I sat there wondering, what will this lead to? Will I end up with a bazillion subscribers? Or will nobody watch the video at all? And will this be the last video I ever make on this channel? For the record, I'm glad it ended up the way it did. Because I've made some pretty good friends. We've had some uh, ups and downs. And a lot of content I really enjoyed making, you know. It is interesting because I have made content that I was really proud of that didn't get as many views. And then there's content like yesterday that I just whipped together the uh, title update for Red Dead Redemption 2. And it's sitting at what, six, 7,000 views at the moment. It's, it's so funny how YouTube is. It is so strange. It's always been like that. It's like you can put a lot of work and effort into a video and it, it'll get some views if you're lucky. Maybe, maybe it'll go viral. Doubtful, but you know, it's nice that you made the video, right? You go from the idea to putting it together and then putting out the final product. Something to be proud of. And then something you just put together in a matter of minutes. It's just hilarious. Oh fuck, a cougar. Oh no. No, go away. No, bad kitty. Bad kitty. Bad, bad kitty. Go away. I have to keep reminding myself about the animals because we spent like the better part of a decade without animals in GTA Online and a lot of us have been asking for the animals to be added and finally Rockstar did it when it comes to current gen PS5, Xbox Series, aka the Milk Editions but it's still fascinating that you can see seagulls flying in the game and uh, sea life as well dogs, cats, and cougars chasing you down and ripping you apart for lunch See, it's been a week now. Your boss called me. I have to head back to work today. Damn, that sucks. Well, I, I hope that, I guess, just take it easy. And hopefully it's a light day for you, Sinister. And just take the proper precautions. Let me look at something real quick. So, what we got? Yeah, but. Yeah, that is crazy, though. How, how it goes when it comes to making content. But it's been quite the ride over the past decade. Whether or not we have a, another decade ahead of us, uh, we'll just we'll have to wait and see. Oh, just yeah, okay. It just sp spawns us into the submarine. Okay, fine. Stingrays, nice. I have yet to encounter the shark. 
I've yet to find the damn shark in the game. Like, people tell me that the shark's in the water, but I've looked and I've yet to encounter the shark. I wish it was like uh, story mode where if you sw swim around too much, you would encounter the sharks and they would aggro on you, but no. Uh, there are dolphins, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, Angry Veteran Forge. They added the uh, animals from story mode to GT Online for current gen. The animals have been in uh, story mode for a long time. They added additional animals uh, to the PS4, Xbox One versions, but it was only back in December that they finally added uh, the animals to, once again, only the milked editions. Alright, got the sonar up. Okay, there's the submarine. The mall. Yeah, I don't think the Mile High Club is ever going to be finished. Like, all these construction projects are, are never going to be done because a lot of them are tied to missions and stuff. So that's not happening. And Kane, thank you for being a junior member for the past 21 months. Very much appreciated. And uh, Dark Matter, I mean, Belfast Gamer. What's up, Belfast Gamer? How you doing today? And yes, the Cougars will, will attack you and kill you in GTA Online. Just like they do in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. I mean, they're Cougars after all. Not like the ones you meet at the bar on a Friday, Saturday night. Those are far more dangerous. <laughs> Shit. I'm destroying Coral Reef just to get to the damn submarine. Alright. I don't know how many times I'll die doing this mission. I've only died once, and I was crashing the damn laser. Which was totally Fat's fault, not mine. Even though Fat's not playing with me. But we can blame him, though. That's the fun part. Yeah, I really wish that they, they would use underwater a bit more for stuff, but... Oh, well. Yeah, it can be a little annoying sometimes doing stuff underwater. Okay, so McTony's submarine should be nearby. We're getting close. I mean, it's a big, giant nuclear submarine. It's kind of hard to miss. Alright. There she is. There she be, laddies. A creature under the ocean. Alright. Alright. Damn, somebody went generous. Ten gifted members came? Jeez, dude. What the hell, man? What are you going crazy for? Stop it. Stop it now. Anyways, uh, Kane, thanks for giving out the gifted memberships. So, yeah, RRJM58, uh, Proton Jack, uh, 1007, UK Gamer, King Easy, Chantel, Ben. Enjoy your gifted memberships from Kane. And if you're not happy about being uh, outed while you were just enjoying the stream, just lurking, uh, hashtag blame Kane. All right, let's get to the intro. Yeah, I think this is going to upset them a little. Let's see if they get pissed off at me. Are they going to notice? Probably. Alright. They're still standing there. They don't even know. Good. I I'd rather them not know. Oh, they're going to know when I start shooting these damn things now, aren't they? Let's see, uh, Miss Kentucky Girl also got one. Jose Melendez got one. Number one, Pinhead got one. Stellar got one. Jeremy's World got one. Anne's Human got one. Uh, Aaron got one. Vinge got one. Let's see, Lutzko got one. Jeez, what are y'all doing? Fern, Kane, stop it. What, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys being so nice to me? Are you guys going to start like a, a lemon uh, lemon stand selling cheap tacos? Is that y'all's plan? Let's see if I can bop him real quick. Right, he's down. All right. 
There you go. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for the uh, super. I mean, thanks for the uh, gifted memberships. Uh, I'm almost done, Belfast. Thanks, though. I mean, I started this thing solo. I might as well try and end it solo. But I appreciate the offer. <laughs> this guy just doesn't know. You don't even know, dude. You need some glasses. What the fuck? Alright, now he's dead. <laughs> dude needs glasses. McTony has very low standards when it comes to hiring people, doesn't he? <laughs> Like, so y'all gonna start a sheep taco stand where you sell some of Kane's lemonade? Hey, what's up, Snake? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Oh no, Yuji, no, don't. You already, Yuji, you already gave after. You already gave out gifted memberships. Okay. I appreciate it, guys, but it's good enough. And we got more coming in. Oh, come on. What is this? But yeah, thanks. Thank you to everybody that's given me gifted memberships and the super chats as we celebrate 10 years of the channel. Alright, let me blow this one up real quick. Alright, back it up, back it up. Alright. What? That didn't work? Son of a bitch. There. Well, that worked. You're just uh, relaxing after work? Okay, we'll just relax. Take it easy. You just have your business in Vice City? Well, go for it. And uh, Lewis, what's up, Lewis? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Along with everybody else, I appreciate all of you being here, watching, lurking, chatting. It means a lot to me. You all being here on the 10th anniversary of the channel. All right. So we got to kill this asshole. That guy will be difficult. But anyways, yeah, I think I think that's enough gift. Thanks. <laughs> you fucking loser. That's so crazy. And yeah, I, the get the members do get certain benefits. They don't get all the same benefits, but they do get shout outs. They do get included below in the description section of live streams. They'll get early access to at least one video a week. I guess I can't shoot through that wall. And they also get featured in the about section of the channel. You're playing Fork Knife this Friday? Oh, uh, how long is that going to last? Like 20 minutes, Snakers, before you rage quit and go back to GTA? <laughs> I can only cut it from the other side. Okay, okay. Let's go up. Right. I think I can cut this one open. Uh, how do you get members? I mean, almost anyone can... I mean... You don't have to. Don't don't do it. I said when I say no, I mean no. Don't do it. Just no no more today, please. You have to understand that's a lot of typing I have to do. I ain't good. I found the car. You are dead. I think there was an asshole in there shooting at me. Oh yeah, there was an asshole. Let me kill him. Hey, he's dead. I mean, I have to type all those up, and I have to put all those in the description section. I have to put those in the about section. It's a lot of work, guys. It really is. Mostly, it's just copy pasta, but still. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Okay, we got to go back downstairs. Okay. Let's see. Brian says, "What's your favorite video on your YouTube channel?" That's a good question, Brian. I'll think about that. And Ben, thanks for uh, wishing me happy 10 years. And uh, Tay also got gifted a membership, so there you go. Quite a few of you got gifted memberships today. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, the love is mutual. All right, here we go. Ugh, ah, so heavy. Damn door. Wait, I was just in this room. Well, what do I have to open? Do I have to open all the doors? Yeah, might as well while I'm here. Uh, later, Matt. Thank you very much. Yeah, here's to another 10 years, I hope. 
We'll see. Oh man, these doors are so heavy. So we got that open, that open, we went in there. Right, so I guess we gotta go around this way. Okay, oh, we, we gotta open that door. Okay, okay, okay. You piece of shit. All right, see you later, UG. Thanks again for the gift of memberships. Is there something special about the year 1621? What? Well, why, why, uh, why are we mentioning that here? Oh. Give, give me a gun. That, sometimes this game must swear. Hey, Dad. You fucking idiot. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're not. Get closer to the door, Janine. No, get, get. Swear. You piece of shit! Get out of cover! Shit is Huntington. Huntington's hurt. I don't want to be here. Right. Man, man, you fucking loser! Hey, load. See, the thing is, there's like red dots appearing that are, I guess they're on different levels of the ship. Alright, see you later, Tay. Come on, get it up. Snacks back up. Good thing I did that. Well, I'm using up all my Christmas uh, body armor, so that's something. Head of security. I guess he's down here. All right, let's go get him. I think I might need something a little bit heavier to kill him. Damn, he's twitching. Must have hit a nerve. I think he's in there, right? In the mess. I think. I could be wrong. What the fuck am I doing? Watch out! Find some cover! You fucking oh, duck! Yeah, I think that might be him in the mess. I'll just let him burn. Fuck him. <laughs> burn, mother trucker! I can all burn. <laughs> I'll just wait a second, let the fire cool down. Yeah, it's not a wise idea to fire rockets in a submarine, but uh, video games. You loser. There's a is there a dude right here. All right, come on. Stop the weapon. Let's keep going. He's still alive. He must be the. Oh. Let's kill his ass. Game, I swear. And yeah, they don't have it like the care the enemies properly matted, you know, mapped. You are dead. They're just appearing like all over the damn place. You fucking penis. <sighs> all right. Fucking idiot. Still gotta kill the head of security. We gotta fall oh, well. back right now. Never bring a gun to an RPG fight. I have to cut this one. I don't think I cut that one. Okay. I will just let the fire cool down for a minute. It's a little warm in here. Just a little. There we go. Fun part is getting the 
Still a little bit of fire. Like, oh, there's the fire extinguisher. Yeah, it's not working. Must be defective. Total dead. Drop this it. fucker out. Alright. Look, guys, I just want the car. That's all. Just hand me the car and I'll leave. Hand me the car, it'll be, there'll be no trouble. Oh, there, there he is. There he is. All right. Fuck! He's burning me! Oh, you motherfucker! Ugh. Fuck you. That didn't work. Fucker ran. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come back here. Piece of shit. <laughs> All right, see you later, Dark Matter Wolf. Thanks for stopping by. Right, can I take the car now, guys? I mean, it's been fun, but you know, I do have places to be like uh, in a nice car. There we go. Alright. Time to take control of this bad boy. We're gonna beach this big giant well right now. Here we go. Don da. Don da 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 Full speed ahead. Slowly heading to the beach. Alright. Almost there. That you know what I really wish we could do more Plato Bay. They should have at least given it an airport and some apartments and maybe There we go. It just needed more. It's just unfortunate that not enough people hang out in Polito Bay. I like Polito Bay. There just needs to be more to do in Polito Bay. Okay. Right, time to get the car and get the fuck out. I get the feeling law enforcement's going to be upset. Oh yeah, during the stream I was cutting the torch on the PlayStation and the, the torch glitched on my PS5 uh, character, Wolfstein. It was freaking hilarious. That was so funny. Oh, well, launch pad. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah. Almost there. Now I got a side of course of action. I'm just glad we're not going to be in the snow. Alright, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Good thing the worst is over. <laughs> right. Alright, let's rock and roll. At least there's no snow. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Bye bye, coppers. Take this down the beach for a minute. What if I just kept it on the beach? Could I lose him? Uh, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Uh, no, no. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Maybe that's what I should do. Is I just no. somebody's freaking bunker? Damn it, guys! Stop parting your bunkers right there. Oh, sorry to crash your party, quite literally. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on the beach. Fuck this. Maybe I'll lose him. This, oh, of course, one of them had the idea. You assholes. 
It's like you know, always stealing my ideas. <sighs> Truckers. That's what I get for thinking I was going to get away that easy. They'll never think to find me on the beach. No, not the beach. Oh, 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 oh. I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. Right, let's see if this works. Can we, can we hide under here? <laughs> Hopefully. Like, this, like, ducking your head down never works. I think they know I'm here. Yeah, I think they know I'm here. Fuck. This didn't work either. Obviously. See, it doesn't work. You think it would work, but it doesn't. Alright. Fuck sakes. Let's get out of here. Oh well, so much for that plan, right, everyone? Alright. Best thing to do is just hightail it back to town. Oh, you fucker! Right, come on, come on, come on, come on! That's off. Nope, nope, I don't think so. Leave me alone. It's somebody else's car with Los Venturas plates. I'm innocent. I'm tail spinning them out of the way. Taste of their own fucking medicine. Even out of their way. Something I want to do. Just give me a second. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Nailed it. Only problem with going this way is the military may find out about my plan. Let's just hope it doesn't. Let's hope this works. Oh, nope, it didn't work. Military, yeah, they were patrolling the beach. Military, this is none of your business. I'm not even technically in Fort Z at the moment. Fuck off. You know what? Hey, look. Uh, anybody need uh, a saddler? There's one right there. Okay. Nope, that won't work either. Okay, let me uh, do this real quick. All my tricks. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. I see GB's going with the confusion strategy. It's a bold move. Let's see how it plays out. Nope. Fuck off. Still got three stars. Nice. Oh, fuck you. Fortunately, this is a very good car to do this in. Alright. This time, I don't have to worry about lousy, stinking snow. I don't have to worry about lousy, stinking me. Alright, come on, get me up the hill. Come on, start losing little cops. Alright, I'm losing them, I'm losing them, I'm losing them. The problem is the damn helicopters. There's the cops, and that'll be that'll be nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Police helicopter. That's it. All right. Caught it. Come on, come on. I just want that 
damn car. No, 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 no. Overshot, overshot, overshot. It's, I did it! I lost the cops. Yes! Nice. This is definitely way easier than trying to do this in the snow. Like, it was three of us, Kane, Dark Brown, Wolf, and me, struggling to do this in the snow. And it's definitely not easy, but it's it's also not too challenging. I would say I prefer this over uh, Doomsday Act 3. Alright. There we go. Now let's get this sweet thing back to the salvage yard. So how many times do y'all think I was going to die in that attempt? I'm just curious about y'all's projections. I'm sure some of you thought that it wasn't going to go so well. I mean, it still might not because, uh, well, it's not exactly Jover or Bai done yet. We still have one angry helicopter after me. Fortunately, we don't have the cops at the moment, so that's that's good. But at least we don't have a star one of them, so that's. Ah, we have fucking public transportation. How many buses are out today? Jesus. I, I'll catch up on chat in a minute, guys. I'm just trying to get this back to the salvage yard. What's left of it? Well, I'm not drinking any adult beverages today. I don't really drink any at all because they're not really good for me. I do have a tea though and some water. Those are my beverages of choice at the moment. Imagine buying all the properties, businesses in Pleto Bay, that'd be fun. Yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, I just feel like they never really fully realized Pleto Bay's potential. Of course, I, I'm still of the opinion that they had no idea how popular GTA Online was going to be when they were building the world of GTA 5. But I, I feel like they're going to take that into account with GTA 6's map. It's definitely being built with the purposes and like thought when it comes to future updates for GTA 6 Online. So you can believe that. But I think that if they would have realized how popular GT Online was going to be, they probably would have built up uh, Polito Bay a bit more. But, you know, lessons learned. <sighs> Alright, bye, Brian. See you later. Oh. That could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Oh, look who's here to celebrate 10 years of the channel, Yusuf. That's right, I brought in Yusuf all the way from Liberty City. He's helping me celebrate 10 years of the channel. Thanks, Yusuf, for stopping by. Nice cameo. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, there's a lot of nice looking homes like in Mirror Park and that, that newer neighborhood. Like, I'm surprised they don't let us have the ability to buy some of those homes, you know, or at least like a few of them as options to buy and then we could buy at least one of them i wouldn't mind but for some reason no yeah janine needs a drink up to that so do i but i know one thing we've been asking for forever is mansions do y'all think we'll ever get mansions? And no, Yusuf, I'm sorry. You're not getting this one. He's probably thinking, oh boy, this one's mine. I can't wait to drive this around Liberty City. Oh, well, one small problem, Yusuf. Uh, you won't be. Because uh, that's mine. Well, it's Janine's. Yeah, she's like, nah, that's my car. Sorry, not sorry, Yusuf. You can uh, go do this mission yourself, my friend. Or you can take your dad's money and uh, go buy one of these cars. How about that, Yusuf? Do that instead. Mm, but I do like Yusuf. 
Even if you only see him a few times in the Chop Shop mission. Yay, I got a bonus reward. No lives lost. Yay, ten thousand dollars. Take care. Heard from All right. He's, uh, All right, this is getting fuck off. Okay. Car. And uh guess what? We claiming. Boom. All right, let's put it in the agency. All right, we did it. We got the car. How about them apples? We also did the McTony robbery. I think the only time I died was when I crashed the freaking laser. <laughs> that was hilarious, but I still managed to pull off the disrupt mission, so I was proud of myself for that. I think that was my biggest blunder. Was that. And I, I still blame Fat for that one. It was his fault. He jinxed me. But, you know, it's the 10 year anniversary of the channel, and I'm in a forgiving mood today. And in a celebrating mood. So that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I do appreciate all of you that uh, were hanging out, whether you were in the chat or lurking, uh, for being here, sharing uh, the 10 year anniversary experience with me as we just look at where we are now where I started 10 years ago with this channel and where we may end up going hopefully in five ten years from now if I'm still doing this but even if I'm not it was a fun ride because we have no idea what tomorrow might bring you know we just got to enjoy it while it lasts right and make the most out of it But it was fun. And I am looking forward to GTA 6. And hopefully uh, covering that as well. And doing a Let's Play of GTA 6. But we do have a few things still coming up this week. I'm, in fact, I've got a video up today. Going up after the stream's done. I'm continuing my playthrough of Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster, Episode 11. Coming up in just a few. They just changed Sea of Thieves 2024 edition. What? What, AC Wolf? Okay. And by the way, hi, AC Wolf. I'll, I'll look into that later. This is my 10 year anniversary gift to uh, Janine. Oh, ads? Well, that's YouTube for you. I, look, I've said it before, I said it again. I have the ads as limited as I possibly can. That's YouTube for you. I got it. It's, I got it limited, you know, very, very limited. All right, we'll go customize this real quick. Not maybe not 100% customization. All right, I'll take it to the workshop. Breaks the usual good stuff. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the fenders. Good. Uh, light slider. I don't know how I feel about any of the libraries or liveries or skins. Probably not. Probably not going to bother. Yep, definitely keeping the plates, but we'll change the, the name of the plate. Boom. Got that. Respray. Primary. What do y'all think? Candy red? Do y'all like candy red? I used to, all my, all Janine's cars used to be candy red a long time ago. One of the last cars that's not candy red is uh, the Meriwether Mesa for obvious reasons. Hmm. Oh yeah, let me get rid of that. Uh, skirts. Yeah, we'll, we'll get keep that yeah a little lip yeah no spoiler because it prevents the other spoiler from coming up All right. turbo wheels got that and limo Stock hood, okay. 
Maybe like a smooth. Yes, let's just go smooth. I like that. Uh, nah, we'll just do that. All right, I think that's that's good enough for now. I think I think that's all I wanted to do with this car. All right, we're done. Let's take her out for a spin, shall we? As the sun sets on today's stream. Let's get the top off. <laughs> that didn't sound right. It's not that kind of celebration. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do think this is a really, really nice car. Oh, yeah, I forgot to. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I, I mean, I got it on the back, so that's what's cool. So I, I managed to get this car for Janine. And my 10 year gift to her. It was fun. I hope you all enjoyed today's stream. And I do appreciate you all being subscribed to the channel. Whether you've been subscribed for, like I said, 10 minutes or almost 10 years. I don't know if there's anybody that's been around the channel since day one or at least the first year of the channel. You know, sadly, people come and go. That's just a, a reality. That's life. But, you know, some people have stuck around that I've met along the way. You know, I've made some friends. You know, I met my fiance, you know. So... It's been a success, in my opinion, this channel. Maybe not the success that some people would think, like bazillion subscribers, sponsorship deals, mansions, yachts. Well, I mean, I got a yacht in this game, but you know what I'm saying. Because I started this off as a fun hobby, something else to do, because I've always had a passion for creating content. I guess it goes back to my radio days when I learned how to do, like, uh, production and stuff. And, you know, the content I made for the political channel, I guess it kind of stemmed over to content for the gaming channel. But, yeah, it's been an interesting past 10 years. Very interesting indeed. I'm just trying to go down to the beach for crying out loud. I don't know why I went down the, down the pier. That was silly. But, yeah. 10 freaking years. What a journey it's been from GTA to Watch Dogs to I think some Skyrim. I threw some Skyrim Let's Play on the channel in the early days. Uh, Mafia, Red Dead, some Star Wars. Actually, a lot of Star Wars. Got some Zelda, some Batman. What else do I have on the channel? Well, of course, the, the trinity of the channel is GTA, Red Dead, and Mafia. And that that is always going to be the thing, you know. But 10 years ago on this day, I posted my very first video on the channel, the Ball and Broke video, which is linked below in the description section. And the, uh, the rest, as they say, is history. So I do appreciate y'all being here today. I really, really do. So here is what's coming up for the rest of the week. And about an hour from now, I will have another video out, a continuation of my Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster Let's Play Episode 11 coming out in about less than an hour. Maybe I'll just, I may just make it live once the stream's over, so I'll probably just make it live. And then the next episode will be on Friday. So Episode 11 goes out today. Episode 12 goes out Friday. Uh, tomorrow I'll be covering the GT Online Event Week. Uh, Saturday, I guess we'll be doing another GTA PlayStation stream. And then Sunday, wrapping up Chapter 6 of Red Dead Redemption 2, five years later. Yep, that is going to be very, very bittersweet. So, yeah, that is pretty much the schedule for the channel for the rest of the week. And, yeah, we're wrapping up. We're done. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks, guys, for all the gifted members. <laughs> Jeez, there's so many of them. It's crazy. All these gifted members you guys gave out. So many. And... By the way, I hope those of you that got gifted members enjoy the uh, perks that you get from being a gifted member. But yeah, thanks again to all of you for uh, being subscribed to the channel, watching the content and streams. And those of you that have contributed financially, never required, by the way, but always greatly appreciated. Uh, whether you're Super Chat heroes or members, always incredible and greatly appreciated to all of you. And uh, yeah, here's hoping that we go on for maybe another 
10 years. No promises, but it's been quite an interesting journey so far. And yeah, so what's next? I guess uh, we, we're all patiently waiting for GTA 6. Hopefully coming in 2025. And uh, yeah, we got Red Dead Redemption 2 five years later coming up on Sunday, 12 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. UK, and other content as well. Like I mentioned, a couple episodes of Dark Forces Remaster, one coming out soon, and the next episode after that will come out on Friday, uh, GTA Online Event Week video on Thursday, and uh, probably a GTA PlayStation stream on Saturday. The weekend stream is 12 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. UK, Saturday and Sunday. And if you're new to the channel, you're more than welcome to subscribe and be part of the GB Nation going on 10 years now as of today. Especially if you like the content, the streams, the videos, you're welcome to subscribe. Ring, ding the bell to be notified about future streams and content. By the way, check out some channels in the featured channel section. Riley and I have a vlogs channel together where we do uh, monthly vlogs. She also has her own channel, Riley Black Fox. A few of my friends, they have channels. It's Kane, Yuji Outlaw, and a few other friends also in the featured channels check section. Check out their amazing content and their streams and their videos as well. And uh, yeah, big thank you to all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods who do a great job modding. Uh, the Super Chat Heroes from March 2024 with their retro GB logos. And a big thank you to all of our members going above and beyond for the GB Nation. Ten years later. It's freaking crazy. If you want to learn more about the membership program, click the Join button. Unique badges, emojis, all the members get shout outs at the beginning of streams, included below in the description of streams. Yes, I'll be including all those new gifted members below in the description section. That'll take me a quick minute. And I'll put them over in the About section as well. You also get, uh, see, uh, oh yeah, early access to one video a week. And uh, oh yeah, the uh, Elite Deluxe members get put on the wall. At the end of the month, we'll add the Junior members and the Gifted members as well. And uh, oh yeah, Elite Deluxe Junior members get featured at the beginning and ending of videos. And members get a unique role in the Discord. And all members get included in the About section, along with the live stream schedule and links to the Vlogs channel, as well as our amazing Discord community. I hope you all have a great week. And as always, from me to you and you and you and you, for the past 10 years, thanks for watching.